Hey, welcome to episode 44 of the Midway series. We're in the town of Hewitt, which is basically a residential center, as you can see by the very grid-like residences. Let's speed things up here. However, uh, if you've not been joining me this whole time, you may notice that this is actually a triple-decker avenue straight down the middle of the city. And it's not really a triple-decker avenue so much as that it's an entrenched avenue with a bridge over it and a tunnel under it. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, there's a lot of a lot of traffic on this to get out of the city because we have a lot of commuters. Uh, this is basically the residential center for the entire region. If I can get down here, there we can get to our lower section here, and you can see it's fairly clean so far today. It's uh, 6 a.m. right now, so we'll see how this gets busier and busier. See all the futuristic cars. Well, that's a little bit steep of a, an incline. Maybe I should take a look at that. <laughs> but otherwise, it looks like traffic's moving very smoothly in here. Whereas up top, it's really not. <laughs> it's pretty backed up here because uh, everyone's trying to get out of the city. trying to get to their jobs and their other towns and stuff. Speaking of, let's check our transit here. Our low wealth people over here are using the buses, which is great. A lot of people using the maglev. Like that so far too. But we still have a lot of people commuting out. Um, although it doesn't show it so much now. Well, we also need to optimize some of this area a little bit more. We're going to take out this line of industrial, and we're going to turn it into residential and commercial. Because we want even more, whoops, even more residences in this city. And then we'll go those. And then we're going to convert some of this into commercial. Let's see, let's take this one and make it commercial. make maybe this middle one here commercial. And let's actually make this end one here commercial. There we go. And let's see how that does. Let's see, check on everything else while those are growing in. I think our numbers are off <laughs> because we're collecting all our garbage. I mean, we have one little bit there, but it's saying we're not collecting at all. And we've collected all of our recyclables. But we're using both of our recycling plants, which is great. It means we're producing a lot more in exports, meaning that we're still making money. We still have plenty of power and we can fire up some more if we need to. Doing good on water. I don't think we have... Do we have all these turned on? I think we do now. Yes. 
so we may have to rely a little on the region depending on what goes on and sewage we're totally fine on Let's see here fire is doing very well health is doing pretty good we could probably beef it up a little more Let's see maybe we'll turn on these process people through twice as fast keep them living twice as long sounds like a good idea to me and we do have all of our ambulances on now right yes and oh our wellness centers are off so let's turn those on There we go. Now, I wish more people would commute by, like, train. Let's see here. Hmm. There's only 7,000 riders per going by train. This doesn't seem to be that much. And I'm not sure why. I mean, definitely we can put the signs on, but... It's not the problem, I'm sure. Everybody seems to be able to get around inside the city just fine. It's the exiting of the city that seems to be <laughs> a bit of a trouble. Especially since the exits, you know, narrow everybody down really fast. And we should clear this right about 6 a.m. when we can, uh, you know, expect a lot more traffic. <laughs> See? There we go. I'm about all clear there. And now it's 6 a.m., so here comes the traffic again. <laughs> hey, Dr. Brony Gamer, welcome back. Good to see you. We'll need some of these commercial to increase in density here. As well as some of this residential. So I think I'd be getting more commuters on train. Well, I guess, damn, I guess that's true. The train tracks really do just go over here. They don't go over to the other cities. I was just thinking about that. And this really upsets me that this has to go down. Because it, should, it shouldn't have to. But, oh well. What are you going to do? <clears throat> so this says we're missing a lot of students, which is odd, because we shouldn't be. <laughs> How are we doing on everything here? Should probably try to increase our density or increase our wealth rather. <laughs> Dr. Brony Gamer, that's like the, the first episode of Big Bang. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. <laughs> oh, and back here, I think let's actually do this too to help our wealth level. Let's remove our bus stops from most of the places. No bus stop there. No bus stop there. I hate hunting down bus stops. <laughs> 
Especially with all this stuff in the way now. Press that there. And I don't think I put one up here. Oh no, I did. Alright, next group. So hard to see between these buildings. Hunting for bus stops. There's a bus stop. There's someone over here. Okay. Oh, you're trying to hide from me. <laughs> Another one. I think that's all for this one. All right, two more to go. somewhere on this road. There you are. And I think that's it. Oh no, there's one more. Now, where did I start placing them on this road? Right there. Right there. And should we one more, right? Yep, right there. And I think that's it for this one. Yeah. Now, let's double check. Got one down here. One over here. One down here. Texture glitch. Are you asking if maglevs are in our time, as in, do I think we'll be able to get maglev technology? Because, I mean, we, we already do that, it's just not at this scale. There. Uh, it should be, yeah, all the bus stops on this side of the city. Now, wait, that shows. Yeah, because High Wolf ride the Mag Lab too. Power failure? What are you talking about? Maybe we should beef up our power. It doesn't seem to be making it back here very well. So that actually helped out our high wealth situation over here quite a bit. And we could probably wealth up this side pretty easy. Do an amphitheater. I like the amphitheater over here. It looks nice. There. 
now. Now we're high wealth basically all across the front here. We you know, we got like one there that honestly I could deal with pretty easy. <laughs> you can just put a uh, here right, let's actually do this. Oh, I was hoping there'd be enough room. But that's perfect. Hello, Skoldston. Welcome. Let's see. What do we need to research here? Research is basically completed on anything we terribly care about. I suppose we can do the solar farm just to do it. 83% approval. Doing good there. So now we need to look at medium wall thing this side. Probably start right here. And I usually like to use like straight path parks or tree line walkways rather. Because you can place two of them exactly and they look really nice. See? Right next to the road like that. And then I can probably do another one over here. And make this whole little area good for medium well hopefully hmm missing the middle still maybe we'll have to do that up here damn that kind of sucks too because I measured these out to be exact these I can I can deal with you know, fudging a little. What if I do this? I think it's most of it. Maybe the same over here. Hey, play. Um, I might actually. Uh, I'll talk to you in a little in, in Skype after afterwards. We'll, we'll discuss things. There we go. Now we have some medium wealth coming across. Still want to leave low wealth back there? Probably. Let's see how this grows. Let's go into school. Well, maybe you should go to school. It's right here. There's even a maglev to get there. Right, 83,000 riding the maglev per day. 15,000 riding bus. Oh, 10,000. Wow, that dropped a lot. Oh, we just passed midnight. Okay. And now it's mostly medium wealth. This is still mostly low wealth riding the maglev. <clears throat> Oh, on Steam, Dr. Brony? Uh, I don't have Steam open at the moment. But I will certainly attempt to remember. So far, so good. How about this? These guys aren't growing up yet.
I'm gonna get this one little guy that's sideways for some reason. Oh. And there's too much stuff stacked up, so I can't grab him to delete him. Nice play. I <laughs> got it on two screens. Um, if you if you use IRC, I've started an IRC channel. Uh, the connection details are down below. It's easier than me trying to t just tell you. I don't know if it's below or to the right. They're they're in the information about the channel. This is looking like a pretty cool city. Still got a lot of medium wealth demand. Thought I would cover more of that, but maybe we still need them to move in. This should be satisfied by the increase in um, in density. We do need to take care of this, though. We have a lot of unsold goods in commercial in high wealth. So. Let's take the, some of these and make them residential. Take one side of this. This one's supposed to be commercial. We have this somewhere in here. Oh, oh, there we go. That's supposed to be commercial. This, let's see. Let's actually, let's turn this into residential. And that should get us a lot, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot closer. So ducky, what do you mean, Dr. Brony? Now we still have some medium wealth unsold goods. Oh, I see, because yeah, a lot of them are in that area. Okay. So let's take this one out. Oh, all right. But what, what do you mean, so ducky, Dr. Brony? Sorry, yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand what the phrase so ducky means, but, but to what are you referring? guys should grow in a little bit better. Let's check this here. Nope, I did go a little bit far with commercial on taking those out. 
Um, oh no, those are left commercial. Okay, so they'll come back in. Good. We actually have a few unemployed high wealth, and I'm hoping they'll start commuting out more, which means I should turn the airship hangar on. Get their commuting going a little bit better. Hello, X Taro X. <laughs> oh, all the smiles in my town are, are so ducky. Gotcha. Yeah, they they do get happy from time to time. Growth is all going pretty good. These guys should wealth or should uh, increase density pretty soon. These little guys can't, but they are they're my uh uh, uh what do you call them? Uh frat houses. <laughs> Go up a little bit and build on the highway with residential? No. Um, I don't build on the highways with residential pretty much ever. And I think you're talking about this area, but the distance between these two isn't enough for two high-density buildings. So, um, yeah, I, I rarely ever zone on avenues. And if I do, it's usually commercial because people, you know, commercial benefits from a lot of um, traffic on the roads. Not, not like backed up traffic, but just people going by. Oh, thank you, Patero. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Uh, I, I actually tried to do a... Um, let me show you here. And I think I did pretty well. A fade back from high density up front, middle in the... Mi you know, mi medium density in the middle, and then low density in the back with some commercial... Or with some... Industrial. Well, I'm sure your your mom and dad live on the highway, Dr. Brony Gamer, but people in SimCity do not because they get dumb if they do. Like, it creates even worse traffic. Everybody trying to get in and out of their houses. Yeah, it's crazy. All right. Now we have high wealth residents commuting much better. Hopefully. That's a thousand a day, so. We still have some unsatisfied low wealth. How are we doing on low wealth jobs, though? Oh, okay, we're doing fine. So, I suppose we need to. Let's just replace this metal one. Oh, wait. Yeah, let's replace this middle one with commercial. Oh, Augusta, Maine. <laughs> Alright, we're actually doing pretty good on treating deaths from the city. Or treating injured from the city, I should say. Cops are doing okay. Let's make sure our police coverage is basically maxed out here. Oh, yeah, we can turn on our other crime prevention centers. A couple patrol car lots. I don't. We really don't need these jail cells, do we? Turn those off. And the police helicopters don't really help all that much, so. Hello, Mentos. Welcome again. Happy Friday to you, too. Oh, uh, no, they do have taxes now. I just am spending a lot of services. So I, I'm kind of tweaking that a little bit. I've also been messing with the population in wealth levels, so people have been um, moving in and out. So I'm not quite collecting as much in taxes at the moment. Um, but I will soon as people wealth up and, and increase in density and such. Okay. 
couldn't find shops or parks. Well, that's dumb. <laughs> Surrounded by shops and parks. And these unemployed people should be commuting out a lot more, because I know my other cities have a lot more need for... Whoops, shit. I didn't mean to delete that. <laughs> have a lot more need for uh, high-wealth citizens, but... We're pretty close. I, I basically just want to get this to make money and maybe reach the next university upgrade, and I'm basically done with this city, I think. There's not a lot more I need to really do with it. This intersection, I suppose I could do a little bit better. But I don't know that there's actually a good answer to it. Because either way, it's, I mean, it's going to be busy either way. And this T-intersection, at least the stoplights do help regulate some of the traffic to keep it flowing. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Cyclone Kermit. The, the guy that couldn't find shops or parks was like right here or something. There's a park right here. Not to mention, I'd be willing to bet, yeah, there's shops right here. So, WTF, mate. <laughs> uh, that's, that's an old one, an old video, if you've ever... You never heard that one. Now, I suppose the the next big question we should be thinking about, as far as a, a region wide thing, is: Can we get money over to this other part of the region? Over here, because this is connected, so I probably can get some money over there. Yeah, I can totally gift over there, but I probably yeah I can't gift there. Or there. But either of these two I can gift to from this city because we have a, a rail connection. Hey, Dat Penguin. Welcome. I know I said it earlier, but I, I did uh, start a uh, an IRC channel. So if you guys want to, if you're more IRC inclined, the, the details are in the info below the video or to the right of the video. I don't know how they have it set up anymore. What's RLC? Oh, IRC. Internet Relay Chat. It should do geothermal for energy. Well, that would be really cool, but I can't. There is no geothermal energy plant. We have fusion, which I would need control net for. Uh, we have nuclear, which I generally shy away from because education can fluctuate pretty easy in a city. Uh, wave is pretty cool, but you have to have a beach, and that's, I mean, that's other than, you know, wind, coal, oil, solar, those are normal ones. There's no geothermal power. Would be cool, but... <laughs> Wait, so now this is done, you just let it grow and move to a different city. Imagine you more money from all the cities you own when you go to another city. No, um, actually, so here's the way that the, the way that works, Myron, is is each city is considered independent. However, you can transfer money from city to city. So if you have a city that's making a lot of money, you can transfer the money to a new city and to help start it up, or to a city that's not making as much money. <laughs> and Dad Penguin, yeah, you couldn't save Larrysburg Reborn, new, new, new Larrysburg, Larrysburg Mark II, <laughs> or any of the other names that you had for it. Uh, the one thing that it, that does kind of calculate up for the region is the amount of simoleons in the region. So, 
for instance, this region has 30 million simoleons in it and 1.5 million people, so. Pretty cool. Man, there's just still so much traffic on these roads. And you can see it's not just this upper highway either. Like, even the, the tunnel is just backed up with people. <laughs> yeah, it is crazy. Oh, uh, actually, no, Myron. That's that's not really the way that it works. It's uh, um, the old cities have money because they I left them with money. Uh, they don't continually run. It, it would be kind of cool if they continued to run kind of on autopilot, but they don't. So um, that that's man, what are you gonna do? Oh, really? The the chat delays increased at Penguin. I didn't realize. And yes, play, I do like the name Hewitt still. It seems to work. These guys need to upgrade in density. That's basically all we're waiting on in this city is the few little pockets that aren't upgraded in density. Like, this guy actually doesn't have enough room. And I believe him. This guy... Uh, I suppose he could end up with enough room, but that pain in the ass. Hey, look at the name though. That's another. That's another frat house. Ha! <laughs> that's too funny. That, like, on all the time playing SimCity, I, I never really like. I never really tried for frat houses, but I never really noticed any pop up either. And now in the city, there's like five. <laughs> Oh, yeah, Cyclone Kermit. I think Myron was actually talking about old cities that I've played in the region before. Like, uh, Vecville doesn't sit there and just run um, continually. Which which I think is actually a neat idea, because and it, does, it has its problems, too. So you actually have to be in the city for its, for its time to go by. But yeah, Cyclone Kermit, that's the other thing, too. If you alt-tab out or minimize it or something, uh, the game just doesn't really run. Um, and in fact, if you leave it open and running for, I don't know, it's like an hour or something, um, it'll pause itself. So, FYI. Yeah, exactly, Cyclone Kermit. Like, if you leave a city that's almost dying because you need to go to another city to make money, you don't want that first city to keep running and then just die because you can't you can't get it enough money. Thank you. Um, but then, then on the other hand, there's the idea of having that other city continue to run and you having continually updated stats then on that city because then everybody from the city would be able to commute over to that city more efficiently and whatnot. So it's catch-22 when you really think about it. So how do I start making money in this town, asks Myron. Um, really, I started with... Uh, I, I just sent this town money, but... Um, I built it to be a tax town, and I think we're actually positive now, just by a little bit, yeah. It's, it essentially runs on tax money and, um, and, and the exports from the recycling center. Uh, centers, because I actually had to do two to actually process all the recycling that we get. But uh, I, I'm glad you like it, by the way. Uh, Myron says it's beautiful, thank you. Um, but there's, just like ways to skin a cat, there's, <laughs> there's a million ways to make money in SimCity. And, and I'll, I hope I'll, I'll demonstrate some of them. And, and in fact, I'm going to do an episode um, once I finish the region where we go through it and I talk about each city for like five minutes or something. Yeah, it, it could cause extreme lag issues. Although, Dat Penguin... 
uh, offline mode is coming, so maybe that's something that you could work into to offline. Not, not you particularly, but you know, someone could work into offline mode um, to kind of have extra CPU cycles go in and tick those cities over day by day or something. That would be, hmm. Now, now you guys got me thinking. That would be really interesting. And I think as long as it was a mode that either I could turn on or off or that that I knew was on or off, it would, it would change the way I would play the game some. Um, you know, I would definitely leave cities in a positive uh, money-making situation, but... You asked me about trucks on trade ports the other day. Oh, I'm sorry, Cyclone Kermit. I don't, I don't remember that. What was your question again? And of course, I'll wait the the requisite sixty seconds for for lag compensation. <laughs> uh, yes, Myron. Uh, I can totally make this city run in the green. I'm just, I'm kind of, I mean, some of the things I'm probably wasting a little bit of money on, um, like police, I probably have a, a little bit more police than I really need. Um, but there's, there's, a, there's a lot of things that I, you know, I could tone back the parks. Um, I, I don't have to have the university really. Um, I could tone back the hospital. Like, in fact, I will do that because we definitely don't need all four of these on. So there's another $900 an hour down. We can really turn this emergency center off because the surgical center and the diagnostics lab, both uh, the each one lowers um, um, injuries and sickness treatment time by half. So that that can that'll help. It's just a matter of tweaking at this point um, because I really, if you'll notice, I am I'm, I'm not in the green as far as this goes. I'm in the red over here. Uh, but I am in the black. If you look at the the little simoleon symbol over there, if that's black, I'm actually making money as far as the the month goes. So I mean, that that because this includes my exports. So we really are actually making money in this city. Not a lot, but we are. Oh yes, Cyclone Kermit. How if they're just deliveries for uh, inside your city and they are not? Right. I do remember that. Oh, but yes, also, Myron, uh, one of the ways to make this city run better would be remove some parks and have lower density. When, when everything, or lower wealth, rather, when everything was low wealth and high and had, you know, maximized their density, I was making 15, 20 grand an hour or something, so. Oh. Well, that's very interesting, Cyclone Kermit. I've just, and this may, this is just anecdotal, uh, quote unquote, evidence <laughs> from me. Um, but I've noticed that when I have more trade port trucks, I get deliveries more often in my city. So that, like, if I'm having trouble importing something, if I put more trucks on, I no longer have trouble keeping that thing imported. So, I'm not sure. That's so. That's so interesting, Cyclone. So yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not totally not calling you a liar because because you you obviously read the you know read the information somewhere else and blah blah. blah. It's just it's it hasn't been my experience. So definitely worth looking into. And thank you for bringing that up. It's totally interesting. Oh, and play the turbo symbol that Myron has. Is uh, he's a, a turbo member of Twitch. He pays uh, for no, I believe it's no ads and something else. Like you get better possible qualities or something, or you can stream at better quality. I don't remember. You, there's a whole little FAQ on it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, Cyclone. I know you're not trying to prove me wrong. That's that's very interesting. 
And, and it happens to me all the time with SimCity. I, I really think something works one way, and then I start investigating it deeply, and I find out, no, 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 it doesn't really work that way at all. Like, when I first started playing, I, I had no idea that Sims had no age level. I really thought I needed an elementary school, a high school, and then, a, a, you know, some sort of university. but that Or community college, one of the two. But that's, you know, 100% wrong. So, <laughs> I, I'd be happy to figure out the that tr more trade po that trade trucks come in uh, on their own you know and you know what part of that might be too if you have a trade port you'll notice um let's see is it under this yeah trucks frequently pick up from the trade port so, so this doesn't really this description doesn't help but this one does so if you have a freight rail terminal you know and oh, it doesn't say it in here either. But the more of the the of the lots that you have, the faster stuff comes in too, or, or something to that effect. Um, I, I wish I could quote where I read that, but I totally did read it somewhere. <laughs> so that's yeah. There's there's some things in this game that are a little bit counterintuitive as to as to what they cause and. And all that. I really wish there was. Well, if anybody's a Linux fan out there, I, I wish there was a man page for some of this stuff. Like, I really want to know all the nitty gritty details about exactly what things do and how they function. And and maybe I just don't know where to look for that type of thing, but. Yeah, see, this traffic clears up really fast, and I mean, you know, by the end of the day, and then six, six a.m. and boom, just loads right back up again. How are we doing on population now? Still have some unemployed. I mean, the point of this city was to have a few unemployed high wealth so that they can commute to other cities, but not all of them seem to be commuting out. We still have unsatisfied low wealth. What level are you? Oh, you're still medium density. Okay, so when you go up to high density, yeah, you'll be better. Oh, sorry. Looking back. Um, pretty sure it says some in the description for trade trucks that it delivers within the city only. Yeah, and I did see that. However, there's an extra line that threw me off. Because here it says adds a truck to move one resource type from your trade port to consumers in your city. Sure. Totally makes sense. Trucks frequently tr pick up from the trade port. What does that mean? <laughs> you know. Oh, Sky Storm, Sky, uh, Sky Storms. Let's play Oil Town. I'll have to go look at that one again because I I don't know if I watched that one or not. I've watched most of Sky Storm and like Uto and uh, uh, Flux Trance and Strict Toaster. Like I watched like all their videos. So that that's you know a lot of the information kind of. It seems like many of us that play a lot of SimCity kind of all have the same consensus on, on the way things work, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the segregated city. I, want, I wanted to do one of those, and I'm not sure if I can make it work the way I want. But I'm, I'm thinking that what if you use... So, so part of the problem with segregated cities is that they need their own power, water, and sewer, because those travel on roads only. And so if you segregate the city by, uh, with, 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 um, um, oh my god, what are they called? Streetcar tracks. Um, then power and water and stuff doesn't, doesn't flow along them. Um, like you think it would. So, so you have to give each one, but I was thinking, for the power at least, what if you used, um, a wind power plant and then connected the the service roads of the wind power plant to the roads of your thing. Like, do, like does the power travel that way, or does it have to come out the front of the power plant? Like, that would be an interesting thing. Anyway, that's something I, I may toy around with in a, a, a sandbox region before I really try it in, in, you know, one of these regions. So, since we basically have this done, and we're nearing, uh, we've got about ten minutes left to this episode. Let's go take a quick look at 
what's coming up for our next episode, which is we'll probably either move into this city or this city. And I want to make one of them a really high uh, producing um, processor and computer and, and stuff city. Hello, Collision. Um, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Both sides have to have their own utilities, and like you said, you have trouble getting it to, to actually function correctly, so... It's something I'll, I'll have to toy around with and see if I can make it work. So, um, anyway, for next week, when we start our, our next episode, because this is a, a Friday, so if you're watching this on YouTube, it doesn't matter, you'll just continue on to the next episode. <laughs> we're going to be moving to one of these two plots, and then I think we're going to move to this one where we will build our electronics empire to help feed the technological needs of our people as they build the great work because this great work is going to be a um a space center and what do we have for stuff here there's no oil which is good because i think the space center does need oil and i want to actually pump that somewhere else and there's a little there and there's none there okay so maybe we'll just import it anyway Let's let's go and send that city some money. Um, actually, I need some more money in this city, so we need to we need to join this city real quick. Steal some of its money and then go to the other one. Oh, he only used railways and buses. Interesting. I wonder if streetcar tracks are different, or if they're still the same, if they don't carry pow power and stuff. Power. <laughs> now this city just makes tons of money. So we're going to steal all of its money. Send it over to Hewitt. Because Hewitt can send money across the, the little river thing there. Let's see, run for just a second here. And then we'll jump over to the other city. Oh yeah, he did use Streetcar Avenue, okay. Oh, yeah, Cyclone. Um, I started an arcology on our side. I, I don't remember if you're in the square that I'm in, um, but we did start an arcology, but I couldn't get friggin' TVs unlocked. They simply wouldn't unlock for me, so I'm not sure what's going on there. I hope we didn't get another bugged region, because that's super annoying. Yeah, yeah Larrysburg is pretty cursed, man. You haven't been doing too well on Let's Plays. <laughs> oh, whoops. I didn't want to be zoomed out. There we go. We need to make sure. There's our money. And then we'll send that money. Send 10 million over to this city to get it started. There it goes. And then those of you guys watching live, stay tuned after our, after the end of the broadcast here, and uh, I've got a little little announcement here for you. We'll we'll work on getting the other thing ready here too. So um, anyway, if you enjoy watching my videos live, like everybody in the chat room is doing right now, having fun chatting me up, <laughs> you can follow me on Twitch, uh, just uh, Twitch.tv/tinback. If you're watching on YouTube and you don't know where that is. Uh, if you want to follow me on YouTube, if you're watching on Twitch and you want to see me on YouTube, um, it's youtube.com slash tinvec. And you um, can subscribe to my YouTube channel there, and I will post all my stuff, for, uh, most of my stuff from, from Twitch over there, and, and catch up on everything as a series, too, if, you, if you're not up to date. Uh, but I hope you've enjoyed the broadcast, and I will talk to you later.